you just saw in that video where the quail can waste food, right? And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm out here. And no, I'm not out here in a t-shirt because it's warm. I've been doing a lot of chainsaw work around the house. And it's up in the mid 40s, maybe in the 50s. I don't know how warm it got today, but doing chainsaw work outside, it's nice and sunny. There's a little breeze. Um, and then that temperature, you get pretty warm. So one of the things I wanted to continue with and show you is um, I have taken the advice of the guy from Hawaii, um, Aloha Quail, and I put the cardboard in my J feeders. So as you can see, I put my card, I put cardboard down in the J feeder, and it funnels the food to an okay place. But I still, and I know quail are messy eaters, but look at how much food they waste. I mean, I am throwing, this is every, this is two days worth. I left it here so I could film it, but this is two days worth. I mean, this is good food that I have to throw away because it gets in their, in their poop tray. So I am on a quest to try and figure out how to best fix these J feeders. And I think I'm gonna put this in here like this, but I'm gonna do it with Coroplast. So the same thing I made my tray covers out of, it's just this corrugated plastic. I'm gonna cut it to that size and put one hole in the middle, in the, in the, in the inside, so the food can drain out. So I know that the quail will kick out food, but maybe that will help so they don't kick out quite as much. So it's all an experiment because this feed is not cheap. And as much as they throw it around, I have to throw away too much. And I mean, that's literally just throwing away money. So um, if you know of a better way, tell me. So I'm gonna go down this road and we'll see what happens um, and, and see if I can get it to work. Okay, so remember I was telling you about the uh, Aloha Quails cardboard trick. So I wanted to show you that when that works right and I've gotten all the sides blocked and it funnels through the middle of the feeder, it does seem to work pretty well. So on the top of the feeder, the food funnels down into the middle in the feeder it doesn't overflow and in the waste tray this is the same tr uh, this is the same two days and there's very little waste in this one and if you notice the J feeder on this side first of all the hole is much bigger and, the, and it goes down a lot more so that may be contributing to it as well and it fills up on that side a whole lot more than this side does where it goes into a pretty narrow funnel. They still get plenty of food, but they don't waste nearly as much because even though they kick it around, it's not in the feeder itself. I don't know if I can get it out, but you can see how it's not, it's not full. So it doesn't fill up very much and that allows them to kick some food around and they'll get it out but a lot of it stays in there whereas on this other one it's almost full uh you can't see it but anyway it's almost full and that's part of the problem so i'm going to put those in there like that to where it only has a little hole in the middle to get out and then hopefully they won't be wasting so much food okay so i cut the coroplast and put a little notch in it and I'm just going to slide it in to the feeder and push it all the way down so then just a little bit of food can come out in the middle. I'll show you how that works. So then when I take the food and put it in, so I'll put the food in here and then just a little bit will come out in the middle and then as they peck at it more food will come out, but it won't be so much in there that it's spilling and getting lost. As an accident, cutting it long like this, just leaving it, when I dump food in there, it doesn't dump into the cage and make a mess either, so. That might be a bonus. 
So I'm gonna knock out all the rest of these really quick and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna see how it works. I will let you know how it works. Okay, so it's the next day and it's raining. And as you can see, I still haven't been able to uh, get out there and, and repair the uh, chicken yard, the net. So I'm gonna go out and check eggs and things like that, but I'm also gonna check on those feeders and let's see how they did. <laughs> So this is one of the reasons I built the shed the way I did, or the chicken hutch the way I did, with this overhang for us, so I can get eggs and stuff in the rain, and the eggs don't get wet. So, plenty of eggs, which is good. Looks like 10 eggs today so far. Let's see if they laid any in the inside, which some of them do every once in a while. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, no eggs in there today. So now I'm going to go over and check the quail hutch and see how my feeder modifications did. Okay, so initial reaction is they're all funneling down into one hole, which is good. Oh, we've got a lot of food going from that one. Not very much from that one, but let's look in here. So here's the telltale truth. Let's see what happened. So in this cage, I guess these birds are just good at this. They're really good at wasting the food. birds over here let's see how they did they wasted some but not nearly as much so maybe it's just these birds I don't know it seems like they wasted a lot of food and they were able to get a lot of food down in their trough there which allowed them to spit it out like this all over the place so And this one, ah, and see this one got, this one got stuck. So no wasted feed there because they can't get to it. And really, it's nothing more than moving the, moving the plastic up just a little bit so they can get to the food. So yeah, it looks like it helps some on some of them, but not on all of them. So I might try and push that one down a little bit more, or maybe I cut the hole too big. I don't know, I'm gonna take it apart and look at it. Okay, so I took the plastic out and I moved it a little bit. I tightened it up basically by pushing it down a little bit. Then it made it so the food was too big to get out. So I had to raise it up just a tiny, tiny bit, and we'll see how that works. We'll see if they're still able to waste a bunch of food. So it looks like it worked a little bit on some of them, so that's good. Um, I'll keep trying and see if I come up with any repairs. So. All right, so I wanted to kind of wrap this video up and get it out. Yes, hi chickies. Every time I come out now, they let me know that they need to get out of their yard and get to the whole yard, but then we can't let the dog out. So. All right, so what I really wanted to talk to you about, finish up, is did my modification to my feeders actually work to keep the waste down? So this particular cage is the one that had the most waste and I've had to adjust it a couple of times. I've actually pushed it down a little bit. They've got their sandbox in there, but here is the test. So although they have some waste, compared to poop, not very much waste. Remember how last time it was a big mountain that came up through the cage and everything. So the other cages I have noticed, um, their food actually goes down a lot slower and they have a lot less waste. 
So I think the modification works. So if you're gonna use it for you, just might have to tweak it a little bit to get it to go just right. So I think that's it finally for this video. It's taken me a while to get it out because I wanted to, to show some different things and I had to keep tweaking the feeders to test the modification to see if it worked. So there you go. All right, until next time, cheers.